Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to multiply decimals. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The process for multiplying decimals is very similar to the process of just multiplying regular integers, except you have to account for the decimal point. Now in order to account for the decimal point, you're going to count how many digits there are behind the decimal point in your problem, and then you're going to move the decimal by that number of digits in your answer. Just to give you a quick example of this, we're going to solve this multiplying decimals example. This problem gives us 3.5 times 9.1. We're going to multiply these just as though they were integers and didn't have a decimal. You're going to start with this one. You're going to do 1 times 5, which is 5, and then 1 times 3, which is 3. Then you move over one spot. You can add a 0 if you want, so I'll put a 0 here. So we move over. 9 times 5 is 45, so we put a 5 here, and we put a 4 over here. And then 9 times 3 is 27, and then 27 plus 4 is 31. Then we're going to add. When you add, you just add through regular column addition. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, and then these would be 0 plus 1, so 1, and then just 3. Now, to figure out your solution, you're going to count how many digits were behind the decimals in your original problem. So we have one digit here, so everything to the right of the decimal counts. So we have one digit to the right, and then we have a second digit here to the right. So this is two decimal places, so I'm going to say two digits, which means that we have to move the decimal point two times to account for our two digits. So we're going to move this one time, two time, and leave it right here. And our final solution is going to be 31.85. You can see the process for multiplying decimals is very similar to the process of multiplying integers, except you have to account for the decimal place by counting the digits behind the decimal. Let's do a couple practice problems from our multiplying decimals worksheet. Number one on our multiplying decimals worksheet gives us 1.2 times 8.4. So again, we're going to take these two numbers and we're going to multiply them as though they were just regular integer numbers. So we're going to say 1.2 times 8.4. Then we're going to draw our line. So one, then we do 4 times 2, which is 8. 4 times 1, which is 4. Then I'm going to add a 0 here. 8 times 2 is 16. So I'm going to put a 6 here and put a 1 over here. And then 8 times 1 is 8, and then 8 plus 1 is 9. So 9 goes down here. Then we're going to add through regular column addition. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 6 is 10. I carry the 1. And then 1 plus 9 is also 10. Now to figure out where our decimal point goes, we have to count how many digits are behind the decimals in our original problem. So 1.2 has one digit, so that's one digit, and then 8.4 also has one digit. So now we have two total digits, so we have to move the decimal two places over. So we're going to go one place, two places, and it ends up in between the zeros. So our final solution is going to be 10.08. The next problem we're going to complete on our multiplying decimals worksheet is number 5. This problem gives us 1.75 times 4.93. Again, you're going to write the decimals out just as though they were regular integers into your multiplication problem. Then you multiply just as though they are normal numbers. So 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 1 is 22. So we put a 2 here, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. Then we add a 0 to move on to our 9. 9 times 5 is 45, carry the 4. 9 times 7 is 63, 63 plus 4 is 67, so we put a 7 down here, and then carry the 6. And then 9 times 1 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, so we put a 15 here. Then we move to the 4, so we have to do two zeros. 
4 times 5 is 20, so 0 here, carry the 2. 4 times 7 is 28, 28 plus 2 is 30, so another 0, carry the 3. And then 4 times 1 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. Then you add these up through regular column addition, 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 5 plus 0 is 7, 5 plus 7 is 12, 12 plus 0 is 2, carry the 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, and then 1 plus 7 is 8. Now we're going to move our decimal according to how many digits we have behind our decimal places in our original problem. In this case we have 1, 2, 3, 4 digits behind the decimal point, so we're going to move our decimal 4 times. So it moves one, two, three, four times, and it ends up in between the eight and the six. So our final solution is gonna be 8.6275. And that's the answer to our multiplying decimals problem. The last problem we're gonna complete on our multiplying decimals worksheet is number seven. This problem gives us 7.08 times 1.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and write these out in our multiplication format. Now you will notice that even though they have a different amount of digits behind the decimals, I do not line up the decimal points. I just line them up as though we have regular integers that we're multiplying together. Then you complete the multiplication just as we did in the other problems. So you do 5 times 8, which is 40, carry the 4. 5 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 4 is 4. 5 times 7 is 35. So we're going to have a 35 here. Add our 0. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 0 is 0. And then 1 times 7 is 7. So we add those together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 8 is 12. Carry the 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then 3 plus 7 is 10. So to figure out how many spaces we move the decimal point, we count the digit. So we have one, two, three digits behind the decimal. So we're going to move the decimal point three times. One, two, three times. It ends up in between the zero and the six. And our final solution is 10.620. Hopefully this video was helpful for teaching you how to multiply decimals. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.